Hi guys, welcome to my DragCon UK 2023 merch haul video. Yes, that's right, the DragCon period may be over, but it is not over for me because we're going to be doing a merch haul video. And stay tuned for next week because we're going to be doing a story time video of my whole experience of the three days, the full UK DragCon. Oh my gosh, it was a lot of things, a lot to unpack, so there's going to be a lot of things, a lot of tea, a lot of this in the next video. But today we are here for the merch haul, which I'm so excited for because obviously you have to buy merch to meet the queens, spend that coin, spend that money, which I did. So we got to represent and show what I got because it's not like a bragging thing like, oh, look at me, I got all this. It's like a celebration of the convention of everything that I got and I got to take away with me. And it's like, this is what I have to show for the full experience, obviously the pictures as well, the meet and greets, but the, the merch, like, it's super cute, seriously. And quickly before we start, um, I do now have all three parts of the vlog up, so if you haven't seen any of them yet, you probably have if you're here, but, um, you can now watch it as a full story, full series, a full collection, three-part video for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday vlog, kind of vibe. Anyway, without further ado, let's just crack on to the merch, because there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack, unpack, and unpack. And I want to show you guys, so. So to begin with, to get this out of the way, I want to do the bags because obviously they're quite clunky. But I said this in my sort of hints and tips video that bags, tote bags are absolutely incredible and essential. And this was at the World of Wonder booth, which we went to pretty much straight away. Um, and I spent a fortune, but anyway. So you're a winner, baby. You can put little, the little pins, the little repeater badges on it. And this is the bag that I used the entire convention. I don't know how much you can see. I might do like a little bit of B-reel, B-reel, B-roll footage down here somewhere so you can like see like close-ups of the merch and stuff so obviously with the green screen vibe I'm not too sure but yeah literally it's like blacks and scuffs and everything because I put all my merch as I was carrying it throughout the three days in this bag obviously emptied each night and then here we are it is nice and dirty but this is the official DragCon UK 2023 totey tote which is totes chemise and it's not the only tote bag I got I also got this cute Victoria scone Victoria L Wait, is it the Victoria line? I don't know. The Victoria scone sort of tote bag and she signed it because uh, it was certain price to meet her. I can't fully remember, but I bet basically bought a tote and a print and then the print was quite dark and she only had a black Sharpie. So it was like, oh, it looks better on the tote. So she, she offered to sign that, which I was like, that's incredible. But this is like, if you see the difference, this is so clean compared to the other one. I know you probably kind of tell, but it's very a bit black, the other one. Black from London, just a bit of like London dirt. Look, drag on dirt, breathe it in, soak it up. Yeah, uh, well, Monet wasn't there, which is a shame, but anyway. I would say that's probably most of the totes that I was planning on getting, but I actually ended up getting this cute black uh, pixie polite one because she had a, like, what's the word? A bundle. So, like, you could buy this and this to meet her, but if you bought all three of them, it's not nearly the same price, so you may as well get the full bundle. So I ended up getting this and the pin and the print. All of the Del Boy fantasy vibes uh, with a big bling P on it. And it says Pixie Polite in the Only Fools and Horses logo, which I love. Like, I'm a massive Only Fools and Horses fan. So shout outs to Pixie for that because that is actually really fierce. And I haven't used this, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. But it's super cute. And it's a different colour. You normally get, like, those sort of tote colour bags, cream, brownie vibes. This is a black tote, which is, yeah, I like it. Yeah, like a cute little black tote. The final tote, which I know, like I said, I wasn't going to get many, but this is the one I really wanted to keep like nice and pristine, so I didn't use it through the convention, which is from uh, Liam Draws Drag, and he's absolutely incredible. I have more merch of his to show. It's like massive shout out to him and all the other creators, seriously, like artists, artist tables, which I was lucky enough to get to check out a little bit during a bit of downtime. And this is the All Stars winner's tote. He holds had the whole series of collection of prints but I was like I'm gonna get the pictures of them on the tote so I don't want to buy the full series um Chad Alaska Trixie Monet Trinity Shay Kaleg and um Kylie and oh well oh my god I thought this only went up to All Stars 6 it literally goes up to All Stars 7 with Jinx well you know what it's up to date it's current it's fierce it's everything and Liam is absolutely incredible and I'm so glad I got the art is so cute seriously and I would pretty much have picked these looks for these queens kind of vibe for this tote so this is something really proper and it may not have been like to meet a queen but it's it's one of my favorite pieces seriously it's absolutely incredible and the final bag yes we have a bit of bling bling hydrangea here over here i mean i don't even know how this is going to show on the green screen because it's literally 
y'all know iridescence y'all know icy iridescence all stars four no this is blue hydrangea the, the the edges are a little bit sharp and spiky so i'm a bit scared but yeah i carried a bit of merch in this after day oh is it echoey after day one it was cute and I got a print as well, but she didn't sign it, which is fair because she signed my fan, which I will. <laughs> I'm excited, actually. Um, yeah, so we literally, I was like, I'm going to get it. It's cute. It's everything. It's bling bling. It's like super fierce. Um, not sure where I'm going to use it, but I imagine if you see people dotting about the city, dotting about London, wherever you could be, where whoever's, take it all the way back to America, wherever you've been, Europe, DragCon, people are going to be walking around with these blue hydrangea bags. And you're going to know where they got them from. You're going to know where they came from. Dragon UK 2023. Also, it kind of matches her booth, which was incredible. So I'm really like, like the whole vibe, like her iridescence, like obviously the UK versus the world finale lip sync, a bit of Kylie. Incredible. Hey, it's cute. Next up, as I briefly just touched on, I got myself a fan. This is just like a really cheap black, plain black fan from Amazon. I did go to the Daft Boy website and it was like, oh, it's going to be 25 something dollars in import delivery. And this was like 10 pound on Amazon. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. So um, I will definitely show a close up of this. I am so freaking excited. So before I went, I was like, there's quite a few winners there. If you think about it, last time UK 2020, the Vivian was there. Obviously, you know, well, Tr yeah, Trinity Monet. Um, I think that was it? There was very few, whereas now it was like, oh my gosh, they can do like the full pink walk, the winner's walk, and then everyone else afterwards kind of thing, and there was a lot, so I was like, I'm taking this opportunity, I'm gonna go get myself a plain fan and get some, some queens to sign it, so let me see, you can see the B footage over there, let me get, we got Danny Beard, got Raja D O'Hara, uh, we got Blue Hydrangea, we got Paloma from France, we got Jada Essence Hall, Crystal Versnatch, Versace, Giselle Lullaby, Envy Peru, one of the first international series that I reacted to, Holland season one, and um, Isis Couture. So we, that's mad. Like the queens that we didn't get to meet, which will obviously be in the story time. But yeah, we didn't meet Trinity, Viv, Lawrence, or Evie. But at this point, I think the, to me the fans full. Like I'm happy with it. Like you know what I mean. It's not like there's a gaping gap anywhere. So. I absolutely love this. This is something that I will treasure so much. Like, last time I took the UK fan that I had, like, that plain UK... Well, not plain, but it wasn't signed. Like, UK fan and got all 10 UK Season 1 queens to sign it, which is just super cute. And now I have this to show, like, oh, my God. In fact, speaking of that fan, here it is. Oh, my gosh, the difference is, like... It's obviously all in black here, and I always remember Vinegar Strokes, like, full-on signed a massive section. And uh, we've got the Viv, Bagger, all that sort of stuff. So, these are, like, my UK 2020... Like Dragon UK and 2023 sort of momentous things, which I brought and I got signed, and I absolutely love them. It's just, oh, you could just picture them like hanging up on a wall somewhere one day. I don't know. Super cute, and I absolutely love it. But the silver Sharpie on the black pops gorgeousness. Uh, yeah, I love it. I didn't actually go too overboard with fans this time. I actually only got two while I was there, plus the black one, so three in total. I feel like I got a lot more last time, but it was just too tempting. Uh, this one says, Bitch Please, which is fierce. Look at the colours. It's very, like, carnival, summer, cute, like, tropical vibes. And this was actually from Madam Madness from Holland 1. She had, like, the fans on display, and I was like, okay, doesn't really say Madam Madness. Doesn't, I don't know if it's, like, her brand. It's been a while since I've seen Holland. Did she say Bitch Please? I don't know, but this is kind of just an all-round fierce fan that goes for any drag occasion so i love it and i had to have it my gosh this one sounds cray cray the last fan that i got was oh wow jimbo oh my gosh so i i was like okay this one's really cute this is from her entrance look where she did the photo shoot with the wind and the ah oh, and obviously this is the look that i actually met her in so hey shout outs to that incredible and it says, oh, wow, her signature sort of thing. There was a white one right like this and then a black one. I was like, I really want this. It's cute. And the only thing is it's like a little bit flimsy, like on the hinges, you know, when they start to sort of break already. I'm like, girl, these traveled all the way from Canada. They got that Canada Gulf Stream, air wind, air waves, gust. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but maybe they're just, maybe it was just bit um, loose in transportation in transit I don't know but it's fierce I love it oh wow next up we continue on to the VIP merch and also the world of wonder booth because we may as well do all that together and obviously as the all-star weekend the full three-day VIP you get the pink um, lanyard 
sash wearable fabric thing which everyone else i think just had like plain black sort of thing which i think this just looks gorgeous really does the thing is super cute and it's not signed this time i remember obviously last time at 2020 it was signed which i actually have it here just for reference which is super cute i like how like they've got the blue on one and the pink on the other so this is super cute and it's a different picture obviously and for some reason they like hole punched it last time whereas like this they just scanned and we were like yep you're good for the weekend kind of thing whereas rupaul actually signed this in red and like people was trying to scratch it off i remember telling that story last time and it was like well it just looks a bit naff so i'm probably glad that, that she didn't sign it on this one um but it's really cute it's obviously in all the pictures i like it it's it's not too yeah you know, out there and it, it it's like you get to enter places where you're a little vip Oh, and this as well, which is for the After Hours Party Day 2, the all winners on the Saturday night, which obviously, uh, well, it literally says Saturday on it, um, attached it to this, but I didn't really want it kind of swapping around throughout the day, so I had it mostly off and then only wore it on the evening. And the VIP Lounge, which I will discuss properly in length at the Storytime video. But as you go in, there was somebody sort of checking, like, your lanyards, letting you go in kind of thing. And they gave you this Yastonbury Festival Drag Con 20, UK 2023 sort of wristband. Because, obviously, the theme was, like, Yastonbury. And it's, like, cool. It's, like, festivals where you wear the wristbands kind of thing. Um, day two. And then got another one. So, here we are. <laughs> I was like, I'm a whore with these. <laughs> these are cute. That's all we'll say about that. Oh, and also with the VIP, um, you got a... DragCon UK 2023 exclusive pin separate from the other ones that were on sale at World of Wonder, the stuff you can get on the website, all that sort of stuff. Um, similar to last time they, they had an exclusive VIP 2021. This is the 2023 one. And it's cute. It's all right. I mean, it's good to know that it's kind of exclusive. But speaking of which, um, this is the 2021. And yes, I do have one down there, but this is actually brand new for me. They sold this at the World of Wonder booth because they had stock to get rid of. I was like, okay, uh, I'm going to buy one because then I've got two. Because this is literally this, but from the previous Dragon. So it's like, you can't get this more than once. So I was like, yeah, I'll get another one. So they'll probably sell these next time. Maybe. Um, but yeah, Rupee at Badgers, we got a few. And when I say a few, I mean a few. Like, these two here are super cute. These are, like... The reason I got these, these aren't anything specific, like, season one, two, three, or four. This is, like, DragCon 2023. This is the main DragCon one, separate from the VIP. And these look like the ones off the show, the exact colour. So I was like, I gotta get myself two of these, because these are cute. Like, hello. I got myself three Legendary Legend stores from All Stars 7, which I really wanted. I was going to get them off the World of Wonder website, actually, but then I thought... Go to DragCon, they'll probably sell them there. It's all good, we'll just wait to buy them there. Spend an absolute fortune. I literally went to the booth Friday and Saturday and spent probably £60 each day, and that was with the discount, so woohoo. <laughs> and the last ones I got, which was the uh, UK vs. The World, which I'm a total boob because I already had two of these here. I thought I didn't, or I thought I only had one, but they also have Canada vs. The World, which I don't think they had at the booth. So I need to get those ordered because they are cute. So I've now got four UK vs. The World pin badges. Next up is this absolutely gorgeous. Oh, reveals. Oh, are we looking okay? Are we looking okay? I don't even know. Seriously, they had the shade button. They had the uh, Charisma, Uniqueness, and Urban Talent um, cup, mug thing. What do you count on mug? Like like water bottle, what, bottle, bottle water bottle of water water bottle um which i already had and i was like i'm not spending money on stuff i've already got just to get it again because that's a bit silly but this is new or at least i didn't know it from last time it is literally like a ooh, oh ring light there you go it is a well it's a mirror and you put batteries in and it lights up how oh, cool oh my gosh like you don't want to get ew, you don't want to get that close up because i mean i look like this oh gosh there's a bit of crust a bit of this a bit of that it's really cute, and I don't actually remember how much it was, but even if it was, like, £15, which I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's literally a shade mirror. And because I spent so much at the booth, I don't know if they were giving these out for every purchase or what, but um, the TNT, Morning TNT, World of Wonder, Wild Presents Plus mug, which I already got because I bought one last time. So here we are getting myself a freebie. Cute, cute, cute. Sure. 
I've got two now. Okay, moving on to the merch from the Queens. Like, I know we looked at the Jimbo fan, but this is, like, the full crux of the merch. You get a lot of pins, stickers, um sign prints that sort of thing but first of all the cuteness the everythingness the plushiness y'all know that i love plush toys this is so cute this is one of the makeshift makeship i can't remember what it's actually called make makeship makeship official makeship Charitza may peach look obviously she has that peach song out kind of vibe you probably can't see the back because of the green screen but anyway um yeah no super cute and I think it was like 20 something, 25 to meter, and this was 35, no, it might have been 20. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, because then you're not ordering it online, you can't get them once they've already gone, so uh, I've already got like Jimbo's, Cheryl's, I think that's it for now. There's definitely a few more that I want to get, but anyway, I was like, I've got to get it. It's super cute, and it supports Charita, and it was just, it's just cute little novelty thing, and I know that her second one that she was doing actually didn't make the minimum purchase or something so it's not actually happening so this is kind of the only one she's got which is just fine that be dozy one of the first queens i met which was anubis on uh bef on the friday before the pink carpet so within that sort of first hour she had the amazing um alice in wonderland queen of hearts kind of card sort of booth and everything and she had these um chess pieces which she'd like hand painted there was like a mixture of different patterns varieties dots and spots and lines but i kind of went for the more simplistic black and white um that's definitely the queen but it could be the king it's it's one of the two <laughs> so it might be the queen might be the king i can't remember I, I i know chess i've played chess loads like as a kid um but yeah obviously me forgetting things but this is i might like if it's a queen i'll get a king and i'll just like paint one black and with a white stripe um, or, or white with a black stripe anyway it's really cute and she like did all these herself the person selling the merch on the booth was like she did all them last night or like the, over the half many weeks kind of thing which was super cute and this was basically a tenner it was like any purchase to meet her and i thought well, you can get a print you can get a this but this is kind of unique unique merch with a little backstory is kind of what i want and what i love and my vibe and it's just something that can like sit on a shelf and people will be like what the hell's this and it's got a story to it like I love it. Next up is a piece of merch which I didn't actually buy and I didn't end up going to see La Phil's booth which I'm sad about. People, she obviously had people going around with stacks of these CDs to say like go, well it's actually signed on the front, come to me, La Phil booth E105 and it's like a full on album like it's called Black Future Is Now, Beautiful Game, Face to Face, Movie Star, Big Job, Big Job. Um, But it's like my friend Matthew was, he got one too and it was like do we open it but it's kind of like signed from her and it's like uh, i don't know try and get it on the spotify la phil she has an album out by the sounds of it and i'm really curious but i am a bit gutted that i didn't get around to going to see her there's just so much there was just so much to do so many things going on but hey la phil work and it's a good way of promoting things promotion for yourself like even me who didn't get, and promoting the booth being like come here oh you might get people to come it didn't work for me because I was busy but then it's like me having this being like oh yeah you're you're a thing you've got music let's give it a try you know what I mean like it, it's continuous promotion by even just handing these out which is kind of smart business sense so well done little next up I'm not going to try and ruffle too much let me actually just quickly open this and then we'll see this came from none other than up your bum no babies Cheryl Hole the uh, mediocre oh gosh it smells like Essex I'm kidding no, this is a small. This is a small. I'm hoping it fits me kind of. All right, let me have a quick look. Hang on. What we got? It says mediocre, number one, and on the back Cheryl one. That's so cute. Like I love that. Like, okay, it's kind of like tank top vibes. Y'all gonna be seeing me wearing this in the summer. Continuing my pink vibe from last year. It is actually really cute, and it's a bit of clothing. Like I didn't buy too much clothing either, which um is a shame. But it's. It's something different as well, and I think this will fit me just fine. Actually, small, extra small might have been better, but I don't think she had it. I don't think she had that as an option, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's cute, something different. Speaking of t-shirts, actually, yes, indeed, I did get this. This is the RuPaul's Drag Cons UK 2023 London. It says London. There's a Rupee badge, and it's London. This is actually really nice. It's a sort of charcoaly black, like not full jet black. Thirty pound at the World of Wonder booth. Obviously, ten percent off, but. I don't know. I'll tell it on the story time properly, but compared to last time where you got a t-shirt, I think a tote, a badge, and the bottle, and a lanyard, this time we literally got the lanyard and a pin badge, and there was nothing else, and there was the t-shirts, which they could have gave us for free for £30 that I bought, so 
I did get this and I wanted to wear it for the video and it's super cute. Since we're on t-shirts, we may as well go through the last t-shirt that I got, which was because Isis Couture had ran out of most of the merch, which was like prints or t-shirts, and it was like £35, £30, £35 for this t-shirt, which is cute. It's like that look she did with the, the icy stuff, and there was a blue version, a red version, and I was like, I'll get this blue version, it's cute. Probably won't wear it much. I've still not really wore the t-shirts that I got at Dragon UK 2020, but we'll see. Um, yeah, which to be fair, we did go on day three, first thing like first sort of hour and a half um so there wasn't much merch left but yeah that was cute next on the wacky wonderful and fabulousness of merch is uh, you may have saw this on the vlog if you haven't go check out part one um where i met Ginny lemon we had like her booth which was cute and it's like a sort of everything must go sale stall kind of thing and um she had this unlucky dip where it was like a yellow bin and you just sort of rooted around for anything and i was scared i was like there's gonna be slime in there or something 10 pound for a piece of trash which was incredible yes i'm a hoarder so i've kept the wrap paper that it was wrapped in yellow minion no it's not minions was oh, it minions i thought it was like minion vibe but it's actually just emojis which is like cool and i got the yellow bowl let me know in the comments if you got anything from here what you got i'm curious what else that was available i would have loved one of the little croc earrings that she got like yellow croc earrings that she was wearing but then again let's not talk about crocs um and there was actually two the guy was like that's that was an accident that was a mistake that wasn't gonna happen so she signed my bowl which is super cute so i love that and current, I'm not being funny, all of this merch, all the pins and everything, I've just been sort of storing in this bowl, in these two bowls, so I kind of had to take them all out to show this, but yeah. Uh, another creative, inventive, fabulous thing to have as merch, not just like, not that everything else is meh, but like stickers and um, prints is like the standard, whereas if you get something different, I'm just like, yeah, I want the Chorizo Plush, I want the Anubis chess piece i want this bowl like you know what i mean now when we were queuing for vanity milan we were kind of queuing for a long time and the story time is going to explain a few of these bits and bobs with the queue and the vip queue but in the meantime while we were waiting she did give us some um well the guy on her booth came out and gave us it was very like lady gaga goes and gets pizzas for the people in the queue uh we got this vanity milan frutella sweets i would have actually opened them right now and eaten one but i've kind of just like brushed my teeth and everything because i want to look squeaky clean and cute for years on the video uh, but I love Frutella we've got the red we've got the well, it's pink but we've got the yellow we've got two orange she put a little sticker on the front it's cute <laughs> okay this is when we're definitely going to have the B footage so you can zoom in proper on these things but I got some absolutely fabulous Polaroids signed Polaroids and one of them I actually got Polaroid took with me um I got one with not one with oh, got a sminty Polaroid I got one with crystal but the lady took it upside down so uh, it's like that way and signed by Crystal. Uh, Heidi in Closet, don't even get me started on this queen, African lover. I, ah, check out part three where we meet and get a little video together. She's in the vlog. Seriously, African lover and oh, the pictures, everything like, oh, it's, it's fabulous. Heidi in Closet. Jada Essence Hall, she got the big Polaroid because you know, she's a winner, she knows what she's doing. JK, but she, she can afford it. Uh huh. Angeria, she caught where well, she can clearly afford it as well. She got the big Polaroids, which she clearly took in the hotel room. Cute. Um, this isn't a Polaroid, but this is the fabulous Veronica Green, who had a full on setup professional photography like me. I had my camera, everyone clocked it, everyone was living, everyone was confused on how it works, as it always is. But uh, yeah, it was basically you get two pictures on this camera, and then it's like one printed out and then it was a qr code so that you could see the other you can get them as a jpeg um which i think is really cute it's nice this is something you could like sort of pop in a little photo frame me and veronica green super cute i love pictures i love this sort of stuff i love like having like the momentous like polaroids like i've got a blue one which i keep at work signed sort of i think that was on an etsy from uk vs the world and that was like 10 15 20 pound and it's mad like these things like the bigger ones were like 20 pound and then and then you get to meet them and it's like 20 pound for a signed polaroid i'm gonna do some polaroids i'll send you some i'll do some semi nude polaroids for a tenner let us know i'll sign them get me an etsy store <laughs> next up we have all of the stickers and i'm going to be showing you them close up but yes we have this um Novimpia one which is sort of like minty green and pink sort of vibe 
River Medway was Booth B, 61, come here. So, like, I got a sticker. Ah, oh, that was it. Sophia Stardust tried to actually stick it on me. I was like, oh, no. Do not put this on my outfit, please. Thanks, girl. Uh, I'll just take the sticker. So, we had the actual sticker. Then I got an actual River Medway sticker from her booth to meet her, um, along with a pin. We have two Angeria Van Michaels uh, sticker. Let me just pop these down, sorry. Um, check from the silver to the center. I can't remember the words. Uh, from the country to the silver screen, it's Angie, bitch, living out my dreams. I was always taught to walk with grace. Confidence, poison, and tons of face. I've never been afraid to live out loud. I just wanted to make my daddy proud. And at the end of the day, I'm always slain. Never let a bitch take my shine away. Oh yeah, I didn't forget the words. I just thought I did. That's literally from the word check at the top of this sticker, okay? She says check. <laughs> Angeria Van Paris. Oh, fucking hell. How long are your name? Angeria Paris Van Michaels. And of course, let's make it shake, honey, from this um, umbrella look. Did she wear that on her entrance? It's been a whole year. We're obviously already on season 15 at this point. We've got Anita Wiggler. Wiggle to the top. Wiggle to the top. Okay, that's the wrong queen. That's um, Utica queen. But Wig Anita Wiggler from Down Unders. She's incredible. Fucking hilarious. I love her. Uh, John Buzz Blonde. I have a story time about her for the next video. Cute little sticker. We have a... Um, Deja Sky. This is really, like, nice. Like, Chromatica vibes. Like, iridescent green and pink. Like, yeah, iridescent's the word, I guess. Like, holographic. Like, Pokemon card holographic sticker. Super cute. Speaking of season 14, we got... It's chocolate. Do -do 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 -do, whatever the music was. And I accident I somehow got two of these. I actually got three and gave one to my friend Matthew. But, yeah, it's chocolate. Super cute. Oh, my God, seriously. Uh, June Jambalaya. The feeling is mutual. I love you. The world loves me and the feeling is mutual. Scarlet Envy, that's a really cute sticker. I don't know what to do with these. I'm always scared to use them because then it's like, ah, I need a scrapbook. I need a scrapbook. Put my Polaroids in, put my stickers in. Do da, 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 da. Yeah. And of course, we met uh, Vivian Vanderpuss from Canada 3 was three, right? Yeah, three. Uh, and I got these cute little stickers. I got it in a pack of three. And I gave one to my friend Matthew because uh, he freaking loves her. And these are some cute looks. These are some fierceness of looks. Moving on to pins and keyrings because that is something that I mentioned so much on my hints and tips. They're cheap. They're great. Minimum purchase. Get the pins. They look super cute. Get, uh, you know what I really want? Like a denim jacket or something just to like pop them all on. Bit of Rupita badges, different badges and pins from the queens from DragCon, which is super cute. I'm also going to include keychains in this because I actually have my, this is really nice. I got the sticker from It's Chocolate, but we have the June Jambalaya sort of proper chunky gold key ring, which is cute. It's got a little uh, gl glittery heart in the middle. Um, I got a Daddy's Girl pin badge from uh, Maddie Morphosis. Um, we got, uh, what else did I get? I got so many things. Oh yeah, got this Danny Beard um, key ring. It's cute. We met her right at the start of day one and she said there was more merch coming, but I was like, girl, we're already here. We're buying it. We're seeing you now. Like I said, I'm going to do all these close-ups uh, as well. Uh, I got this for free because I bought so much at the World of Wonder booth. I think it was an exclusive for day two. Her Majesty done already had, done had her, is it? You know the words. Keychain, um, which I remember seeing on the World of Wonder website a few years ago, and I was like, I'm not buying that. Good job I didn't, because it's free. Um, we got an Envy, not an Envy, a Scarlet Envy, not Envy Pro. Scarlet Envy, a uh, cute little pin. Um, Cheddar Gorgeous, it says Gorgeous. It's You guys can't see this, I'm doing close-ups. Um, also, Cheddar Gorgeous B pin badge, super cute. Ellie Diamond in the diamond shape, super cute. Uh, Raja D O'Hara is really cute. This pin is cute for the background. It literally has like O'Hara, oh, Raja O'Hara, O'Hara times. Raja is from Dallas, Texas. Te I read that. I read that as like Laganja, or is it? Yeah, Laganja. Raja is from Dallas, Texas. Cause if it's not green, I'm not interested. Uh huh. I was flying so high, almost kind of like your receding hairline. Oh, it's so dry up in Texas. Almost kind of like your vagina. They're not the words, but you get the vibe. Where everything is bigger, better, and bolder. Dancing Queen, no, no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I can't really read it because the pin's in the way, but that's really cute. Like, this, this is a full-on newspaper article talking about herself. Roger O'Hara is ready to slay season 11. Well, let's not talk about that, but hey. 
I freaking love it. I told her, uh, I'll tell you on the story time, but I did. I told her the, the redemption from 11 to All Star 6 to Canada. Like, got a Patty Pam Pam from Holland uh, pin, which is super cute. And the Pixie Polite Only Fools and Horses one, which I mentioned, is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's like glass as well, which is nice. Um, it's just gag. I absolutely love that. I love Only Fools and Horses. Um, one of the best ones, the cutest, like, sort of standout is this River Medway cone. You could have bought a cone for a tenner to wear as, like, a hat. You could have bought the cone plush, but I was like, I want this pin. It's actually really cute. It's kind of stands out with, compared to, like, the other pins. Um, definitely her vibe. And also the River Medway Hannah Montana, uh, logo on the quad board. Next up we have the prints which is obviously something that I you always get a lot of. They're cute. You can get them online, you can get them at the shows, but getting them at DragCon is like okay, you buy a print £10 or 2 for 20 meet the queen, get them signed, that kind of thing. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'm going to do a montage to show you like a little video of them down here. I picked out a couple of my favourites to show you whilst holding up to talk about kind of vibe. Um, so first of all it was absolutely fierce. I'm going to put these down. First of all, it was absolutely fierce to meet Heidi, but I got that. It's super cute. I love it. Obviously, signed Heidi and Closet. Super cute. Uh, Michelle Visage, she was, she had this print. So you could, you basically had to buy the print to meet her. The print was £40. She was the most expensive, but that's fair. You got to meet Michelle Visage. It's all you could buy the book, but I bought that last time to meet her. Uh, it just says Sean, exclamation mark with a heart. Super cute. Valentina was similar. You had to buy this print to meet her. It wasn't um, an option. She had other prints, but if you bought the other prints, it didn't count as a meet and greet purchase. You needed to buy this specific print on the day that I went. I think she had different prints for different days. And this is another standout one, which I chose to show you. Uh, the Pixie Polite one, like I say, she had the tote, she had the pin, she has this. Pixie's Independent Traders, to Sean, to my lovely, jubbly YouTube pal. I love that, Pixie, seriously. <laughs> we have a little bit of a story time to tell on that one next week on the video, but that's, so, even just the look, oh my God, to have met her in that look would have been incredible. Imagine if she wore that and had like the bag. That's so fierce. And the last print which I want to show and talk about is, of course, Liam Draws Drag. This is the incredible uh, UK2 cast along the bottom with Cherry up here. Um, the Cherry Valentine booth, incredible. I'll talk about that next week. Um, and then around the back of it was, like, uh, some merch to buy. And obviously the money would go to her, the charity, to just the support of the family, everything. Um... And I spied these, and I was like, oh my god, it's a tenner. It, I was like, this is Liam Draws Drag. And we asked him later on, and he, yeah, he basically donated a stack of these to the uh, booth, obviously, to make money for, for the family. And uh, it's just incredible. So I didn't buy this from Liam's stall, got this from the Cherry Valentine uh, booth. And yeah, it, it's really cute. It's just, it's, it is just incredible.
Speaking of Liam Draws Drag, I had to stop by, get a cute picture, get some merch. Like, I got the tote, um, and then he, he basically had, like, the All-Stars winner package, which I didn't get, but then it was also the UK winner's package. I was like, I want to get that as the cards. So we have, uh, and that's not the right order. I put it in the wrong order. Oops. <laughs> so we have the Vivian. Uh, whoops. We have Lawrence Cheney in the purple, which is super cute. Crystal Versace in the... Um, Cruella sort of inspired look, uh, Danny Beard in this look, um, and then Blue in the UK versus the world promo look, which is fierce. So I'm glad I got those. Those are really cool. And I couldn't not get the Michelle Visage. Hey, hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? <laughs> Check out Shawnee 92 on, you know, YouTube, gaming channel, Twitch, Instagram, all the things. And uh, then iconically, Alyssa Edwards back rolls. I did ask, does he have any Manila with him? And I know they have like the Manila on the uh, Instagram, but there was none there, so I couldn't get Manila, which is fair enough. But yeah, I literally love the Liam Draws Drag merch they have, which is this and the tote bag, and then obviously the Cherry Valentine um, poster as well, which is just incredible. So talented, and if you've been watching season fifteen, they're, they're already posting stuff for that as well. Okay, because y'all know y'all better walk that fucking duck. Okay. So yeah, I just want to kind of give a little bit of a shout out to some of the um, merch stalls that I went to um, at the creators area or on the pink carpet, that kind of thing. Because um, there were some really cool things, like money was definitely running out and I was like, oh my god. But I wanted to buy certain little bits and I got a little treat for my boyfriend uh, from this place, which is That Gay Creation. I'm not entirely sure if I'm allowed to show some of this on the internet, so I'm kind of covering that a little bit. I got this totally gay pin badge for myself, and I got him, like, a little penis. No, they had penis candles, but they were, like, £20 or £15. I got, like, a little whole... Little peachy booty, okay? Let's just put it that way. We got that. So, shout-outs to that gay creation for their, like, whole, like, line of everything that they had, which was pretty fierce so i would go check them out on the website instagram all that sort of stuff next up we have man a queen and i've got their little business card here so man a queen uk business card go check them out on instagram and the website they have prints of like the little bead thing i'm not very good at explaining so i'm not too sure what it is but um they put it on the the little canvas thing and then they yeah I know what it is, but I can't describe it, okay? <laughs> so we have, I got the full collection, which is really cheap. It was like a fiver. It was like Bianca Del Rio, uh, Jinx Monsoon, uh, Trixie, and the Vivian. So these are really cool, like obviously prints of the main attraction, but they have some really cool stuff on there. So go check out Mana Queen UK on Instagram. They have an email address, all that sort of stuff. Next shout out is to Hastract. Is that how I pronounce it? Hastract, sorry, Hastract. So it's kind of like abstract have these amazing sort of prints artwork of different queens from different moments in the season different looks we went here specifically because we found that they had an isis couture uh print because she'd ran out so my friend matthew wanted to get one signed and i ended up getting my fan signed um so this didn't get signed but we have a amazing collection i was like shea coulee from this incredible look and i was like is that all stars 5 or was it all stars 7 i actually can't remember at this point it's like oh my gosh um we have Monet in this incredible chocolate, the body, like, six-pack sort of vibe. Pretty certain that's from All-Star 7. Um, Heidi in Closet, how could you not? I had to get, like, little Heidi one. Uh, Manila, I got the Manila one. And, of course, just for the memes, I got Manila and Naomi Smalls from their All-Stars 4 looks. And, yeah, they kind of go together at this point. So, <laughs> shout-outs to Hasdract for those because they're really cool. They had loads. I could have bought more, but I was already run. I was like, ooh. I bought the five and then the Isis Couture one. I think it was like five pound, five for five or five, ten pound for five. I don't remember how much it was, but it was, it was good. Go check out Hasdract. They've got Etsy, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. That isn't quite it because there's a few more things to show. But yes, I got this poster from Jada Essence Hall. Um, she didn't have really like many prints and i did get the polaroid i was like right i'll get polaroid and a poster to meet her i think it was like 35 kind of pound um so she signed that at the bottom the only thing is like you can see it's a little bit rippled a little bit like i had to roll it up i had to get this in my case take it home from london here we are um i wouldn't personally recommend getting big posters like this there's not many that sell them matthew had a deja sky one which he carried around for the whole of day one whereas we got this towards the end of day three which was lucky but yeah not huge on the posters but hey if it can make it back in one piece and you can frame it 
fierce. And how could I forget? Seriously, this is not the end, but this is one of the highlights. Well, it's, okay, it's cute, okay? Y'all know I love a Rupee, a badge. I've got a whole collection down there. But Tia Coffee, this was like a must. Like, she had the incredible TARDIS booth. She had t-shirts, prints, all that sort of stuff, which I would have got, but I was kind of running out and I was like, I really want this. So this was a little bit more expensive. The Tia Coffee basic badge basic bitch repeat a badge it is glittery it is glossy it is gorgeous there was a blue version and a red version yeah i know that i love red but the blue kind of goes more with the repeat a badge and it was also tardis blue so i was like i'm gonna go with blue but it's got this little cardboard it said tea or coffee it is so like glitzy shiny on the back which is so cute oh my gosh and bing okay i mean it's literally it's it's not chocolate it's plastic okay <laughs> but it is kind of creative like it's actually mad how like no one else really has fake rupee badges at least from what i can remember of the merch uh on the booths and obviously didn't meet everyone but incredible love it another random print that i got from a queen who i met because she saw me and she has the uh, spangled bodysuit and we're like oh my gosh she nearly wore it lord good lord god oh is it god oh like lord god like lord god Hey, y'all know she might be, she said, you don't know me, but you might do soon. I'm like, T? All, star, all Stars 5? UK 5? Season 5? Maybe. We'll see. That is almost it for all of the merch, okay? But not quite. Because to meet Mama Queen and Megan Schoenbrood from Holland 1, you could buy a print or whatever. But I put my name in for, like, this raffle. So I think I spent £10 and it was, like, three raffle tickets in this amazing box. And I'll tell the full story on the story video, okay? Because I won the raffle. And in that was this the box where you put the tickets in. This amazing box that says love. Something inside the box, which I haven't opened yet. Which I want to reveal, like, today on this video for myself. And four picture frames with two prints in each. Which is just incredible, okay? So, like, obviously it's a bit loud next to the mic. But we have four of these with signed prints four Megan prints and four Mama Queen prints, which is just incredible. I freaking love them. The, oh, I mean, this is just incredible to have like won this and got all these prints. Like I might take them out the frames, but like Mama Queen, I got a cameo from her back in 2020. She follows me on Instagram. Megan follows me on Instagram. Like they're both so cool, everything. And let me show you this box, seriously. It is absolutely stunning. It is like red, black, and white, which is my color, my vibe. It says love. They had like a thing in the top, obviously, to put the name, the things in. And we're gonna lift the lid. There's definitely something in here, but I was like, how am I gonna get this home in the suitcase to, you know, get home? <gasps> oh, see, I could see through the little slit and something's been rolling around inside. And it was like, it's definitely a mug. Super cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, another mug. Mama and Megan cute looks pictures together that is a really cute and i was kind of thinking oh it's just gonna well not oh it's just gonna be a mug but it's a mug inside that's amazing but there's more stuff oh my god okay there's a t-shirt oh look at oh 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 it's a medium it's fine i'll hang it up on the wall <laughs> it's the same picture and on the back it says crew crew y'all calling me crew all right <laughs> no way crew <laughs> crew better way ripple strike on UK 2023, oh my god, I could wear this and pretend I'm crew. I love it. No way. Oh my god. Oh, I could just wear like padding or like put weight on or something. I could wear a medium. And then a pin, I assume, would be. Oh. It smells like. It probably smells of Mama Queen and Megan Schoonbrood. It's like kind of their booth, their vibe. Might be a bit of perfume. I don't know. I'm getting a bit of nostalgia brought back from Drag Hunt. Uh, we have a Mama pin and a Megan pin. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I was kind of just expect. Like, think about how much that is. That's absolutely incredible. I really appreciate it. I can't believe I won. I get the box, which is cute. Hello. <gasps> I could put my Dracon merch in here. <gasps> I could put, like, the pins and everything. Oh, my God. The pins. I got a T-shirt. I got two, four, six, eight. Is that eight? Eight signed prints. Eight prints. Okay pins the box the mug the t-shirt that is actually incredible i was i was not expecting that in general anyway but that is actually so cool oh my god now nah, like literally for a tenner like to get all those prints and the the mug the t-shirt the pins the box everything that's absolutely gaggy 
that is pretty much it for all the merch. Like, obviously, there's all the B footage as well, so you can see a bit of a close-up, because I kind of like to do good content for you guys. I'm sorry, you know, if it's not that good or if it's been... The, the video's too long, so I really appreciate everybody who's been here the whole time. And, yeah, I had cash with me. That all got spent by the end of day three. We're talking 910 cash, and I spent like 60 each time for World of Wonder booth on my card. I Joey J, I had to do PayPal. Another queen I paid card, another queen I paid card. I must have spent about 300 on card. Maybe two, yeah, 300. So 1200 ish. Let's just say 1200. 1200 pounds sterling on the merch for DragCon to meet the queens. That's not including the ticket, that's not including trains, hotel, anything that. Uh, Maybe food, but yeah, twelve hundred pounds. Ching. Yeah, I was expecting to spend about three hundred per day, but I actually spent four hundred and fifty on day one. I was like, that's half my cash. So, totally worth it. You know what it is? Some of my favourite merch. The the fan for the all winners that I got signed. The tea coffee basic bitch badge. Obviously, the Mama Queen Megan Shun Brood win of the raffle. The Ginny Lemon classic things super cute this t-shirt not gonna lie i'm very happy with this and the liam draws drag merch like it's so great to finally just to get to see the stall and everything and just get some merch like i'm really happy like that i got to do that the chorizo plush the blue hydrangea bag the victoria scone bag all the tote bags like the pins what's my favorite pin obviously i love the tea of coffee but i love the pixie polite only fools and horses pin ah <sighs> There's just so much stuff. I just need to have it all spread out and just have a proper look. Like, I already did that every night after the convention. And then also when I got home, I had to look through everything. I was, like, getting ready for this video. There's just so much stuff. It's just, like... <laughs> I think it's, like, twice the amount of stuff as last time. And that was two days. But, well, I don't even know. If I have forgot anything or forgot to show anything, I will probably do that in the next video for the story time. There's some tea. There's some everything. It's gonna be fierce. Oh, I love the mirror too. The shade. World of Wonder booth mirror. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you're well. And yeah, I will be back for story time. I've got the Patreon with some naughty pics on there. If you want to go and check it out. Like, hey, we're doing all the content. Bashing it out. Well, you should be bashing it out. But anyway, that's a different story. Oops, naughty. Um, vlogs, part one, two, and three are all up there. I'll be doing the Twitch still, Shawnee underscore 92. I've got my gaming YouTube with some unboxings, all that sort of stuff. I don't need to promote myself all the time, but hey, here we go. We're doing a long ass video. And if you've made it this far, you probably already have my Instagram and maybe Twitch and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, always appreciate the support. And hey, y'all, <laughs> we need to pay for this somehow. <laughs> okay, we're going maybe the Patreon. I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back very soon. And obviously, I'm not reacting to season 15 at this point at the moment probably will do the finale because i like to do that but we'll see I, it's fierce I'm, i am enjoying it going to drag con and seeing like all that sort of stuff and watching the first episode and just whilst down there has kind of been like yes i really want to watch it season 15 it's great whereas season 14 i started on episode like week eight i binge watched the first half of the season um but anyway here we are all right thank you all for watching stay safe and i'll see you next week for story time bye guys